Hey guys, Wes from Insert Frame here and today I'm going to show you how to add file uploads to your frame of forms. It's really easy to use, you can drag and drop or click to upload your files, just like this. So let's build one together. To get started, we'll head over to frameofforms.com and you're going to want to create an account. Frame of Forms allows you to build unlimited forms that are completely customizable right inside of Framer. So once you've got an account, you'll end up in this dashboard here. From here, you'll want to copy and paste any of these form fields into Framer, but to get started, let's just remix one of these templates. I'll choose this one. Now we've got this form, but there's no file upload, so let's head back to the dashboard and copy the file uploads field. And then we're just going to paste it into the form. I'm just going to paste mine above this consent field here. By default, it's styled very plainly, but we want it to fit in with the rest of the form. So let's select it and let's check out the component properties on the right. So if we have multiple forms on our site, we could change this form ID, but since we've just got one, we're just going to leave it on zero. And you'll definitely want to make sure you match the form ID with the submit button, zero, zero, ours is fine, so let's just keep it the same. Uh, you can also change the name to something more specific if you need. For example, if I was collecting two different types of files, you'll definitely want to give them unique names. In fact, let's imagine we're building a form for a record label, and this is how people send in their music, but they also want to send in their album artwork. So let's build that. Let's duplicate this. Select them both and wrap it in a stack. Let's stack. And we'll set the stack to horizontal. We'll also fit both of these. Actually, we'll set the width to fill. We'll also go in, select them both, and change them to fill. So it doesn't look very pretty at the moment, but we'll fix this up later. We'll set them both to required, and then change their file types accordingly. So selecting the first one, this will be just an audio, only accepting audio files. And then the second one, we want that one to be images. We're going to select this first one and name it song upload. And then the second one, we'll call this one uh, artwork upload. There we go. Let's just check to make sure. Yep, artwork upload. Great, so now we can change the text to upload song. Song. And the second one to upload artwork. Now we're going to change the layout to vertical as well. Just like that, a little bit cleaner. So this is pretty good, but we can start making it nicer now. We'll make the background a really light blue. Even less, maybe something like 15%. Just to show that it's not the same as the other fields. Uh, it's really common to give drag and drop sections a dashed border. So we'll do that to help people understand what to do a little bit quicker. We'll set that to dashed. Might even make it a width, set it to a width of two. Set it to the other ones as well. Just like that, just to keep it cohesive. We'll give it a bit more padding. Maybe just vertical padding. We'll set it to like 40, bottom, Oop, not 406, 40. There we go, it's a bit better. Cool, so now we can change the icon. Uh, we'll leave the gap and the radius, that's fine. The icon, so the music one here for the song, we're just gonna head over to fontawesome.com and then I've picked one out already. Really easy, you just go to SVG, copy the code snippet there just by clicking it, go back and just paste it in here. Cool, really simple, just like that. And then for the artwork, I'll just find one of an image. Got one searched up here already. We'll use this, copy it there, and then go to icon, paste it in here as well. Cool. So as you can see, we've got everything set up now. Let's just double check, go through it. Yep, looks like everything's 
or good. You can also check out things like shadows and change those, radius, gap, all of that type of stuff. But for now, we're just going to leave it as is. Cool. So let's give it a test. Cool. So as you can see, it's graying out the image here and it's only allowing me to add an audio file, which is great. And then for the artwork, it does the same thing except switch around. So it doesn't let me upload audio, only lets me upload an image. As you can see there, also it takes on the name, showing us that it has been uploaded. So that's how you add file uploads to your frame of forms. Hope this helped and that you have a great day.